hey, Vsauce, Hamlet here, to be or not to be, that is the question. Whether tis nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against a sea of troubles, and by opposing any of them, to die, to sleep, no more, and by sleep we say end the heartache and thousand natural shocks that flesh is heir to, tis a consummation devoutly to be wished. For who would bear the whips and scorns of time, the oppressor's wrong, the proud man's condemnly, the pangs of despised love, the law's delay, the insolence of offense, and the spurns that patient merit of the unworthy takes, when he himself might his quietus make with a bare bodkin, who would fardels bear to grunt and sweat under a weary life? But that, the dread of something after death, the undiscovered country from those who's born, no traveler returns, puzzles the will, and makes us rather bear those ills we have than fly to others we know not of. Thus, conscience does make cowards of us all. And thus the naive hue of resolution is sicklied over with a pale cast of thought, and enterprises of great pitch and moment, with this regard their currents turn awry, and lose the name of action. And as always, thanks for watching.